Well, uh, this is a story that I found recently uh, from China. Uh, and it's, it's kind of an astrological story. Once it's said that long, long ago, the Jade Emperor and his consort, the Jade Empress, had many daughters who w were weavers. And they would spend their time in the heavens weaving beautiful clothes and, and, and they would weave the, the web of the sky. They would weave clouds. And so they created a lot of things that, that were necessary to the sky dwellers. And the emperor and his wife were very proud of their daughters, in particular the youngest daughter, who was very skilled at, uh, at the loom. She had a heavenly loom, and she would create all kinds of diaphanous fabrics and clouds and things of that sort. Now, one day, the daughters of the Jade Emperor and the Jade Empress decided to descend to Earth to take a bath, which I guess even the deities have to get clean from time to time. So there, there was some kind of a sacred pool that they went to on Earth where they would divest themselves of their diaphanous sky cloud garments, and then they would go skinny dipping. Well, it so happened that, that on this particular occasion, they were observed. There was a young man who was a cowherd, and he had with him his favorite ox, and somehow the two of them managed to be unobtrusive enough to spy upon these heavenly young women without being seen. Now, the young man didn't realize that his ox had special powers of some kind. And while he was, you know, doing his best peeping Tom Im imitation, watching these young women at their bath, his ox sidled up to him and was like, hey, you know, if you take one of their sets of clothes, she'll have to stay down here on earth with you. Oh. So the young man liked that. So he snuck over to where all the clothing was heaped, and he pulled out one of the beautiful robes that had been worn by one of the daughters of the Jade Emperor and the Jade Empress. So when it came time to go, all the other young women came out of the sacred pool, dried themselves off, put their clothes back on, and ascended back up to heaven. It just so happened that the clothes that had been stolen by the cowherd at the behest of his ox belonged to the youngest daughter, the weaver princess. Well, she at first was kind of unhappy about the situation, but according to the legend, the two of them grew to love each other very well, and she stayed with him and became his wife. And they lived very happily together, he tending his oxen, and she taking care of whatever else needed caring for in their household. And the two of them had children together, they had two children. And all was well until eventually the Jade Emperor and the Jade Empress, I don't know what kind of parents they were, but it took them a while to catch on to the fact that their youngest daughter was missing. The one, I know this is nuts, but the, the one who did the, the beautiful diaphanous cloud material that they loved so much. Well, she was, they like, they looked around, oh, I guess she's gone. Oh, where'd she go? Well, and they, they used their, their great powers to figure out that she had never come back up from her bath. I guess their sisters neglected to mention, oh yeah, she stayed behind. <laughs> she met this cute guy and eh, well, we figured she was happy. <laughs> well, so the Jade Emperor and the Jade Empress call for their guards and their minions to go down to Earth and collect their daughter and take her back up with them. Which they do. And she's swept away. And, and the poor cowherd comes home from work one day to find his children alone and crying and his wife gone. Well, naturally, he's upset, and he remembers his ox, his favorite ox, the one who had spoke to him long ago, and he goes to the ox, and he consults with him, and he says, what do I do? How do I get my wife back? Where is she gone? And the ox says, okay, here's the deal. Your wife is a daughter of the Jade Emperor and the Jade Empress up in heaven, and the only way to retrieve her is to use my magical skin and fly up into the heavens. And the cowherd said, great, so how do I get your skin? And the ox says, you're going to have to kill me to take my skin off. Oh, well, the cowherd is distraught. He doesn't want to kill his friend, the ox, but he realizes it's the only way to get back his wife and the mother of his children. So sadly, he kills his friend, the magical ox, and flays him and takes his skin, and he wraps it around himself and 
the skin lifts him up off the earth. He grabs his two children and brings them along. He holds them in his arms, and the skin carries the three of them up into the sky. Well, the Jade Emperor and the Jade Empress look down, and they see this mortal man and his children ascending up to the heavens. Oh, well, this is a travesty. This is defying the natural order. And they see there's their daughter, their youngest daughter, and she's calling out to them. And he's coming closer and closer with their children. And she's stretching out her arms. This is the corny part. And the Jade Empress pulls a hairpin out of her hair. And she rakes it through the sky. And in the wake of the hairpin, a milky white set of stars forms an impenetrable river in the sky a river that we now call the Milky Way. And it divides the lovers. It separates them. Because the mortal man flying in his magical ox skin with his children cannot cross the river of stars. And the princess, the weaver princess, the daughter of the Jade Emperor and Empress, she cannot perhaps, she cannot cross over the river of stars. And the two of them are separated, yearning, reaching out and crying to each other. And so they are through all eternity. However, once a year, on the seventh day of the seventh month, so it is said, all the magpies of the world gather together and create a bridge, a bird bridge, across the river of stars so that the lovers can reconnect and be a family together once more, if for only one day. And that is the story of the weaver princess and the cowherd, her husband.